Hello, welcome to the Prosperity Alchemist channel. I am David Wong, and in this video, I will talk about how to become force sensitive. Just like in Star Wars, how to become one with the force, how to feel the force, how to use the force. We're gonna, shop, we're gonna talk about that in this video, so stay tuned. So before we can learn how to become force sensitive, we have to understand what is the force in the first place. So according to Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars, he says, it's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, and it binds everything together, or binds the galaxy together. So that's what he says in Star Wars, but you know what? The force is not limited to just science fiction. So Nikola Tesla, he said that, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Now that's Nikola Tesla, but let's take a look at some ancient religions uh, for example, Christianity in the Bible it says that in the beginning was the word. And we translate what the word means, it is the word logos. And logos literally means frequency or vibration. So that's from the Bible. And if you study some other religions such as Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, you have the concept of prana and you have the concept of the uh, universal field. And in Chinese uh, culture, and traditions, we have the concept of qi. And even Taoist and Zen, they all talk about the same thing. So we have different religions from different times, even different, uh, different beliefs, all talking about the same thing, talking about the universal field. Now, there's been a lot of research and development in the quantum physics area to uh, explain how the world works with uh, particle accelerators and particle colliders. And from that research, we found that most of us is just empty space. So you think that existence is made of something hard, you have, you have rocks that are hard, or you have metal that's hard, you have bodies that, that are physical, but actually most of reality is just empty space. And most of it is just particles spinning around each other and in just a calculation and equations of probability of uh, waveforms. So what is that? That's also a frequency. So you come to think about it, the world as we know it, the life that we experience, the reality that we perceive, it's just all frequency. Your body is a frequency. Health or disease is a frequency. Your mind, your brain operates with brain waves, which are also frequencies. And um, so think about it, pretty much everything we know in existence is frequency and vibration. Electromagnetism is frequency. And a whole, even the visible light that we see is frequency. So the more that we look into it, the more that we research, we find that the world is just a uh, big symphony of frequencies, okay? So now that you understand what this force is, um, now you can start to realize and be more aware of it. How can you be more aware of it? Well, start to be more aware about what frequencies you are allowing to affect you and what frequencies you are projecting out. So if you think in terms of that, Start thinking about how your body is an instrument. Think of it as an instrument, just like a guitar or a piano. When you pluck the strings of that instrument, it will vibrate and it will create a sound wave that projects out. So in the same way, our bodies are like instruments. But instead of having strings that we pluck, we have our nervous system, which are also like strings if you think about it because they extend throughout our whole body. And if you line up all our nerves from end to end, it will go around the whole planet. That's how many of these nervous, uh, these nerves are in your body. So think of your nerves as strings of your instrument, of your instrumental body. How can you tune your nerves so that they vibrate at different frequencies? So with that being said, you're probably asking, well, if there's so much force around us, if it really exists, then how come I can't feel the force? How come I can't see the force? I can't experience it. Well, the problem is that imagine that, that all the strings on the guitar are made out of rock, made out of something that doesn't move. 
Well, how can you vibrate that? You can't vibrate it if it is all solid and stiff and stuck. So the first thing you need to do is to start to tune your nervous system, start to tune your nerves themselves and your brain waves. And your, so the entire nervous system includes your brain and your brain stem and all your organs and all the nerves too. So in order to tune them and soften them and make them more pliable so that they can actually vibrate, that's the first part is you cannot play a guitar with strings made of rocks. You need to play a guitar, you know, you need to play an instrument where the strings can actually be plucked and actually can vibrate. So first is to be able to vibrate those things uh, in your body, be able to vibrate in your nervous system. And there's a lot of exercises you can do, for example, in meditation, in qigong, and in uh, exercise, um, even to a certain point. But uh, it has to be a combination of training of your mind and your body at the same time. And that's why martial arts is a very good way of tuning your nervous system. You need to combine your breathing, your intentions in your mind, your body, what you're doing with your body, and, uh, and do that over a long period of time. And you'll be able to start to loosen up and relax uh, those parts of your nervous system to allow you to be able to start to feel the vibrations because with a loose, more looser, more relaxed nervous system, a looser string will be able to also um, receive vibrations as well as um, resonate vibrations. That brings us back to the analogy of the tuning forks again. So if you ring one fork, okay, you ring one of these forks, you can feel the other fork vibrating here because it's getting closer and because the sound waves from this fork is actually affecting the sound waves of this fork. So the same thing happens with your nervous system is that if you are uh, loosening up your nervous system, relaxing it and tuning it, then you become more sensitive to vibrations and frequencies that are all around you all the time. And at the same time, you'll be able to manipulate those frequencies and vibrations in yourself so that they will project out whatever you want. So I'm gonna explain that in the prosperity pyramid, how you develop that life force. I call that life force because that is the source and that is the foundation for building your life force, being able to have a nervous system with your mind, your nerves and your body and organs that allow you to project out and also receive. And it takes a lot of training. I've been doing Qigong for many years. I've been meditating for many, many years in order to be able to become sensitive. But once you get to that point, then your whole world just opens up. You'll be able to experience so many more things. And recently I discovered and been developing technology that will help anyone be able to speed up and shortcut that process of being able to become more force sensitive just with some technology that I've discovered of uh, something that combines frequency, vibration, and um, yeah, based on that. So it's very exciting. If you want to learn more about that, just come to my webinar and we're going to share with you how that technology works. All right, so if you like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel so you get all the new discoveries and new lessons that are coming up all the time. And uh, make sure that you share with your friends. So until next time, I'm the Prosperity Alchemist, David Wong. So use the force and prosper.